Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm host Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing on with our San Marino challenge in FM21, which is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Simultaneously, we're taking a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions, Champions League glory, which we've already done twice. Uh, for the purposes of that part of the challenge, took over a club based in San Marino, but playing in the Italian pyramid called San Marino Calcio. Real club, well, went defunct in 2019, apparently refounded uh, last season, so you can find them in Football Manager 22 and beyond, hopefully, in lower league uh, databases in Italy, so definitely check that out if you like. Uh, but in this case, uh, for this universe, we decided to pump a ton of money into the club and really pimp out the youth intakes and, and coaching and everything to see if the challenge is even possible. Basically, it's a super best case scenario uh, to see if this is possible uh i'm sure some people might be able to do it with some real bad players uh and maybe some um saves coming uh to do it but doing it legitimately you uh, legitimately you probably need a pretty good uh, youth intake uh in order to start producing players that are good enough to actually compete consistently and so uh this is the best case scenario we got the best uh youth intakes in the world well one of the best and we're seeing if we can pump out enough players to actually be able to get the national team to be good and so how are we doing so far we are up to 81st in the world 81st you can see from our world ranking chart boom 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 not very good 197 this is where i took over and then boom boom uh, oh. Yeah, so we're we're starting to make some some waves here a little bit, um, looking pretty solid. Um, we've had a pretty good year. We had we got made our first major tournament ever in the Euros in 2032, and made it out of our group, actually top of our group, and then choked in the second round. But we won't talk about that. We've also made it up to uh, Nations League B from Nations League D. And uh, we are currently tapping a group with Netherlands, Russia, and Romania. Uh, so this is a, uh, <laughs> it's been going pretty good. Uh, our rating is only gonna keep going up because we've been getting some good results against teams above us. And it's gonna be a chance uh, this international window to do the same. So uh, we have Netherlands at home. Chance maybe for a point that Netherlands have drawn both are opening matches. I think this might be a chance for us to, to do the same against a team that's a top 15 team. I think they're sitting at 11 right now. Yep. So it may be an opening. Maybe, maybe they're not as good as that 11. Maybe. And so we have a chance. And then we have another uh, shot at Romania. We're going to go to Romania and, and try to take another three points off of them. Because we do that, we're, we're sitting pretty. I think... Um, we're we're doing pretty good. We're trying. Our goal is to not get relegated from B. I think we we have a very good shot now, especially if we can get this point here. If we go, uh, if we get four points this uh, this window, I think that's pretty much makes it safe. Uh, if we somehow get six, uh, we might be able to get ourselves to A. Um, of course, the the last window will be a real tough one though. Um, but uh, let's see what we can do here. We got to take three from Romania either way. I think that's the, the most important thing. So that's what we're going to try to do. But first up, like I said, we got Netherlands at home. This is our chance to take a point. Can't quite pull all our completely best team as Daniela Giardi is uh, injured right now. But uh, other than that, pretty much a full strength side. A um, couple of players may be a little bit tired but i think we should be able to get through at least this match with them and then uh we got backups that we can throw in hopefully for the second match against romania um we're trying to we got we're trying to think here a little bit as uh, i'm trying to decide whether to uh stick with berardi that's kind of a dlp because he can uh he can pass or whether we bring in uh, 
uh, Gyati to play as like a halfback in this role. Um, that's the big decision right now. Because uh, the the key is I want Rusty. I really like Rusty to play uh, box to box. He really likes playing as a box to box, and not a DLP. So I would like to not have him do that if we can. But um, if we have to, I think we we could probably switch that out. So that's the thing. I'd like. I really like having a, a playmaker here, someone to filter the ball to when it's not going uh, outside. But. I mean, we could probably get away with it since we we like to play through Ramos who is our one of our offensive uh, big offensive threats as a winger slash wingback so um. <sighs> I think we're gonna do this I think we're gonna stick with what, what we've done here of course that means uh, Nucci, of course, is a complete forward. Everything, but a little bit of passing problems. But other than that, he is a wonderful complete forward. And I think he'll take advantage there. We are going to play through Ramos, of course. We got a flop here. Goes complete, so he has complete freedom to do what he does. Oops. And we are playing down the left. Uh, the tactic kind of got messed up as from one of the last matches where I was making changes forgot to do next match and I was trying to revert it. It was all bad. But uh yeah, I think this is what we want then. Boom 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 boom. Play attack. Yeah. Good. Uh so yeah, that's what we're looking at here. Furini was in form uh before he had Four goals in those two matches, so we're hoping he's gonna continue on here. That would be great. Right, Golnucci did not play very well, but he was hot before that. See, our forwards have a ton of goals, except for Carboni, who still has not gotten off yet. Uh, even Giardi has got 16, 46. But I mean, Golnucci, what, uh, 15 and 26? 17 and 29 for Fiorini. Uh, this uh, white on light blue is not always the easiest to read though. So, uh, so yeah. Then Giardi is going to get a start here. Giardi needs to really start taking off because he's got a little bit of pressure coming from our man Giuseppe Tome. 17 and is developing really quickly. Has potential potential four to five stars, which is actually four to five stars on the club side, which uh, would mean world class, super world class. Three stars is at this point uh, good to leading Sorry, out player. You get up to four stars. Four stars is a star in any of those leagues, and once you get into four and a half, five, you are world class, if not four. So. Uh, he but he's just blowing up. He's blowing up. So we got him playing in the B side in Serie B, and uh, he's he scored two goals in his two matches. So um, yeah, and look at this man. This man's five three with an eight jumping reach. Uh, if he, if this goes to plan, and he continues to take off, he will be playing with the club side next next season as an eighteen year old, the rotational. Uh, member of the midfield because uh, he is very good and I'm very 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 excited because we have started to cast off a lot of our San Marini's players from the club side anyway let's get into this match we've been talking a lot about stuff that does not matter for the purposes of this episode but I get super excited with, with some of these players all right so first things first foot in this they're playing a fairly defensive formation here. Not completely, of course, but fairly. Okay, all on weaker foot. Uh, you may notice uh, from the our club side, we do have a 
club player starting for the Netherlands now in Jeffrey van der Beek, who is not yet a, a starter, full-time starter. He's a regular rotation piece, probably our, our at this point, fourth uh, center back. Um, but he, he is very good. Very good. How's our keeper? Their keeper is solid, pretty good. Oh, this guy at Barcelona, yeah. I remember looking at him and not being able to afford him. He's good. Okay. Striker, good. Uh, AMC. At Benfica, and um, I'm surprised he's still at Benfica. I'm going to press him and tight mark him. Actually, can we tackle him? Yes, we will. We will give him the the treatment. Left wing, Real Madrid. Okay, how's this team drawing other teams right now in our group? Must be tactic because this this team should not be drawing anyone. Of course, everyone knows Frankie De Jong. He's not athletic anymore, but he's still very, very technical. Ravenburg. At Ajax. Surprised. He's pretty good too. Okay. okay. Closing him down and he killings. At Ajax as well. So is I. What the hell? Is IX like super rich or something? How do they hold on to all these players? These are good players. Actually, now I'm curious. They are rich. They are in perennially in the Champions League. Oh, they've only won the last two Heredivessies. Interesting. All right. Uh, you're not going to do anything. You're probably not going to do anything. Okay, so uh, this is going to be fun. Uh. Should not listen there. Uh, right, everyone that's a little bit shaky mentally will give the I have faith in you. So Andreas Scotty is set to make his hundredth appearance for San Marino today. Just how much does he mean to this team? Well, I mean, <laughs> he's got a hundred caps. He is uh, very, very important to this team. He's twenty-seven. And uh, he's been a mainstay for a very long time in the San Marinese national team. So, I guess he was never good enough to get the Italy call up, maybe. Uh, but yeah, he's been a mainstay for us. And he, I mean, he's not great, but it, he's good for what we get. So, I hope he comes out and does everything to mark the appearance his 100th appearance, his century with. Uh, Big performance. All right, uh, Matia Giardi's like match finish all on Kane last. Uh, he'll do what he can. I know he's not playing as much with leads as he should be or needs to be, but uh, he, so that's why I was saying earlier he needs to get going there because Tomei is coming. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Of course, our formation, I talked about the Netherlands formation as being very defensive or pretty defensive, but I mean, <laughs> my formation is also very, very defensive. Even we still managed to score goals, so. It's 5 3 2, that's more of a 3 5 2. It is definitely more of a 3 5 2, which is not that defensive. But there are wingbacks that bomb up and down. Okay, we're needing to do more here. Let's get the team going. Let's get going here. We gotta act like we belong because we do. Nice. Uh, Fiorini, come down here and pick that up and start running. There we go. Good, good, good. 
Tackle. Okay. You just let him tangle the ball in front of you. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. There we go. <sighs> Didn't get it out. Dangerous. Don't like it. Oh, how did that not get intercepted? I'm not sure. <sighs> That's just weak. That is weak. That is so weak. What is going on here? That is so weak. What? Where is the marking? Where is the marking? There is no marking whatsoever going on here. Okay, we gotta push forward here. Giardi's playing like garbage. It's awesome. Pierini, go. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Okay, the entire team right now. Okay, they're getting right boxing once we can get in the in the locker room because or next time I get a chance because this is they gotta at least pretend they want to be out here good save at least we're trying to go at them a little bit because kind of have to step up and see if we can do something Header like what the hell and then what the hell what the hell what the hell I already get a chance before nope right they had curious fashion a chance out there might they might have escaped the beratement but they didn't so now it's all bad just like walking in Just walking in. An open head. Come on. This is terrible. You guys are going to pretend. Like, I wish I could just. I wish they were on my club side so I could find them all for a month. This is terrible. I can't. I don't want to counter press. Can we at least get in here with the ball? Hold on to the ball a little bit. <sighs> Got a shot at least. Yay. Nobody's expecting no nope, throw a water bottle. I am not pleased. Oh, crying. He's crying. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Seemed demotivated. Well, whose fault is that? Who's embarrassing the country? I'm not out there embarrassing the country right now. Like this entire team is embarrassing the country right now. It's like incompletely and utterly embarrassing. I mean, I kind of want to individually throw the water bottles at each of these players. I don't think I got enough water bottles though. So. <laughs> oh, I should make them. After I throw the water bottle, I should have that player grab the water bottle and bring it back to me before I throw it at the next player. That might be the way we have to do it. Because right now, this is just not working. Not working at all. at all Too direct that's what I've been 
contemplating whether I should just go direct, but I don't, I don't want to just go direct. I mean, we're basically doing that already, though. I don't think they have some composure, but we might have to go a little more direct. Can't be any worse than what we're doing. Can't be any worse. I, I don't even know who to take off at this point. It's just every player on the team is just not showing up. What are you doing, man? You trying to get sent off? Well, I know mean, one player that's kind of going to have to come off. Frustrated by feedback. Okay, dude. drop him I don't trust my players at all so I like to take them as soon as they get a card to get them to stop doing that Gary's playing like absolute butt. <sighs> this is just terrible. sure what I want to do. Thank you. 
just so much bad performance I can I only get three subs unlike in Italy where I get five I'd feel a lot better doing that so it's three subs ridiculousness I want to bring out another striker but I don't know that would be helpful And I also want to pull a wing back, but I mean, what, what is going on here? It just like, what is this performance? Like, what is this performance? What do I do? What, what do I even do at this point? Oh, what happened here? I thought I... Pff, that's not what I wanted at all. I don't know why. Stuff's not working. Another side, I'd be pulling Fiorini. Just so few subs, just uh, just so bad. Now, oh, what? And now, oh, of course, why? Why would? And see now these Dutch players, dirty as Dutch players, doing exactly what you expect. Doing exactly what you expect. Not only are they ah uh, uh, referee like five fouls. <laughs> yeah, you just saw them injure one of my players. Yeah, I'm sure that they've only collect committed five fouls. So at home, referees are like, eh, the Dutch are here. We're going to watch them play. Oh, don't, don't, don't do anything. Don't look at them. I can't throw another water bottle. It's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. Fans clearly felt you should have taken off. Uh, and we're leaving. Not very heavy. Sprained ankle. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Dutch. The cheating is Dutch. Good game. Let the let them do whatever they wanted to do. That's not a good game. That's. They're allowed to kick the, the hell out of us. Then that's not a good. <laughs> I mean, the only reason why that'd be good for is because UEFA was like, uh, let them kick them out. That's so. That's good. Exactly what they wanted. So terrible. Uh, Man United. I'm trying to get my best player. Uh, um, uh, especially Man United team's done absolutely jack. <laughs> what has Man United done in? They haven't even won a league. They haven't even won the Premiership in five, five years. Certainly ain't won a Champions League. Twenty twenty-five. Yeah. See, I knew it. Y'all are not too good. Look at their Champions League. 
They're third right now. Lost in the quarterfinal. Lost in the first knockout round. Lost in the first knockout. Why? Why, Why is this team reputable? They've done nothing. They've done nothing. They've done nothing. Four second, second, four second. They've done nothing. Done nothing. Did not play well. No, he did not. Okay, let's see if they give us a uh, press camera. Yes. That was Andreas guy's 100 cap. Just how much of an impact has he had on soccer? I mean, he had an impact, but he uh, can't trade in past glory. He has to keep earning his space. What do you think? Uh, I don't care about what they do. I don't talk about other players. I talk about my team and my team only. Mostly because I don't even know who's on the other team. I don't pay attention to them. It's about my team and what they do, and that was embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Yep, so, so we're not happy at all. Uh, I was not given another water bottle to throw. Um, I really needed one. Uh, this team is has embarrassed themselves and their, their entire country, and, and frankly embarrassed probably all of you all as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're not happy at all. We're not happy. Um, so, but they'll luckily they'll get a chance to turn it around in a couple days. Uh, against Romania, so we will be back to see how they do and if they embarrass us again, um, there will be uh, Lynchings no, there can't be lynchings. <laughs> they there will be um, Vegetables being thrown at the team because there's no way That they can play that badly again basically what I'm saying because the backups are gonna be in so um, Yeah so yeah, thank y'all for hanging out and watching. Uh, sorry we disappointed everyone, but uh, I guess sometimes you just uh, you lose. Uh, so, uh, but if you're enjoying yourself and want to continue to support, then uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the good stuff on these videos. Really appreciate it. Shout out to all the subscribers already. And uh, there's links in the description to our Twitch and our Twitter if you want to come hang out some more. We do a little bit of streaming uh, for like an hour a night, a few nights a week. So. Um, terrible time for most people, but you know, if you can, come hang out. Um, and that really, that's gonna do it. So, um, I hopefully everyone's doing really well. Stay well out there, stay safe, stay good, stay healthy out there. Uh, a lot healthier than our team, and a lot better than our team. But I'll be back, and we'll be back against Romania next time. So, see you then.